Now, I want to address something really quickly, which is a going above 0 dB full scale, because technically it's possible. It is indeed possible to go above 0 dB full scale, but it requires you to actually use a 32-bit floating point bit rate, which actually provides about 48 dB full scale headroom above 0 dB. So basically is what, what happens, and I don't want to get too technical here, which I realize I'm getting very technical, but when you have 32-bit floating point, you can store some very small and some very large numbers. And what they did when they spec'd out 32-bit floating point or 64-bit floating point audio, they actually allowed some of those bits to be reserved for representing numbers that are technically larger than 0 dB full scale. And the reason for this is, is this allows you to keep your digital audio workstation meters turned up, and as long as you turn your master down, you won't get clipping. So basically, internally, your digital audio workstations are going to be running in 32-bit floating point or maybe 64-bit floating point audio. But when it gets to your digital to analog converter, or it gets to the point where it's reaching your speakers, what's going to happen is it's going to clip everything that's above 0 dB full scale down to 0 dB full scale, which is going to be clipping. And the reason they do this is because you could actually end up damaging your speakers if they didn't. If they didn't hard clip it, now you're asking your speaker to do displacement that could be beyond its possible range. So of course the solution at this point is just turn it down. And that's why you know, people make sure they have a limiter on their master to make sure that nothing else happens coming out of their speakers that is above 0 dB. So that's kind of what a limiter does. Make sure nothing goes above it. You don't get, it tries to do it without clipping, does its best to do it without clipping to avoid getting any of that in those nasty digital distortion that people tend to not like unless they're actually going for that sound in a creative way. So once again, this is nice because it allows you to push your faders up above zero dB and as long as your master is turned down um, when you're looking at the mixing board and stuff, you won't get clipping. But also keep in mind if you do expect, if you do have your master at zero dB, you know, zeroed out, it's not doing anything and you're pushing your faders above 0 dB, you are going to get clipping in the end. Even if everything's below 0, the fact that you're adding all these sounds together could mean that your overall sound volume could be above 0 dB and you could end up with clipping. So that's why a lot of producers tend to mix around things that are at minus 6, where they want to make sure their pre-master is hitting at minus 3 to minus 4 dB full scale. That way they have enough room to send to their mastering engineer without getting any of that clipping. So that's kind of what I wanted to mention about that. But once again, I wouldn't want to rely too much on dB full scale. I would just say don't worry about it too much. Don't worry about getting clipping internally within your digital audio workstation as long as your master is turned down. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll talk about frequency. And don't forget to join that Discord and subscribe.